This is question seven from 2019 ordinary level leave insert paper. As you can see, it's a big question. That's because it's a, a question from section B. It's the first question in this paper from section B. And it's bigger than it seems because of a lot of the tables and all. In fact, one of those tables is written down twice. Twice. I will be referring back to the main table multiple times and I'll try and pop it up onto the screen if we're talking about it. And you can find a copy of it along with the entire question in the description below or at least a link to the image of the question. The entire question is about statistics and um, reading of information. In this case, the information is about a different type of produce in different countries, the cost of a different type of produce. For example, the meat, fish, milk and fruit. And we're going to answer questions about that data. Things like the maximum price, the minimum price, the range, the mean, the median, the mean, the standard deviation, stuff like that. All standard statistics questions. In part A, which I've copied out the table they give us, the partially finished table they uh, provide us with, they ask us to fill in the maximum price, the minimum price, and the range of prices from each country. And they've started us off with meat here. They've given us a number 254. And if we look at the table, 254 comes from Switzerland. That's how much uh, meat will cost in Switzerland. And they give us 54 is the minimum. And that seems to come from Poland if we check the table. And the, this 200 simply comes from the distance in these prices. So this question is fairly simple and it should be fairly straightforward. You go through the, the list of fish and how much it costs in each country and you find the largest number. You should find 175 uh, from Norway as the largest number. And again, you do it for the minimum number. And you should find 65 is Poland. And you do this for each of them. For milk, it is, um, oh, I have these numbers wrong, I'm sorry. 175 is milk and 65 is um, milk. And that was Norway and Poland. I'm sorry, fish was actually Switzerland again, 177. And the cheapest for, uh, fish is Macedonia at 59. And then fruit, um, Switzerland once again, comes out at uh, 172. Very expensive place, I've been there. Crazily expensive. And again, Macedonia comes out the cheapest for fruit at 48. And now it's just a simple matter of taking these away from each other. Use a calculator, don't make uh, silly mistakes like one like I just did. Um, I have this done already though, it's 118, it's 110, that looks right, and it's 124. Again, that looks right. Okay, so that's part A. Then for part B, they ask us to list out in order all the values from the fruit, uh, the fruit and veg. So what they mean there is simply to write out, find the smallest number and write it out, uh, next smallest and so on. So let me just jot these down, 48, 62, 77, 86, 95, 104, 11, 111, 116, um, 125, a little annoying, but it should be still fairly easy. They're giving, you, they're giving you marks in this question. Please take them, take the marks if they give them to you freely, 150 and 172. Okay, that will give you marks. They will give you a few marks just for doing this, writing numbers in order. But they then ask you to do something with it. They ask you to find the median, the median number. And the median number, it's one of the averages, it's one of the famous three averages. It's the middle number when they are all in order. So they are all in order here. And uh, one way I like to do, there's a multiple ways. You can count how many numbers there are. I believe there's 13 numbers. And um, so the middle one will be then, um, Middle of 13 is six and a half. Uh, the seventh number is the middle number of uh, 13 numbers. So of three numbers, the middle number is the second number. But that can be awkward. Lots of students get confused about that. One easier way is simply just to take one number off each end. So if we do that, that, that one there, and just taking one off each end at a time, um, and we're left with the middle number. Sometimes there's two numbers in the middle, that means we'll have to get the mean of both of those. But in this case, there's only one number. So the median, the median is equal to 111. For part C, they ask us to find the mean of the values in the, the meat category. Yes, meat category. 
Okay, so how do we do this? Um, we simply, I'll put up uh, the table on the screen again here. We get all those numbers in the meat category and add them together. We add them together and we divide by how many there is. Double check how many there is. I believe there's, yeah, there is, there's 13. So we simply add all those numbers and divide them. Okay, uh, table gone again. So what do we need to do? Do we need to write down every single number with a plus mark in between? No, the examiner is much nice uh, in, the, in stats. They do let us use the calculator a lot. You can put all this into the calculator and simply get the answer out at 112. So that's all those numbers added together divided by 13. I like to just show them a little more. I like to show them that I added all the numbers together and divided by 13. But just writing the number down from your calculator will be enough in this question. Now there was another way to do this instead of uh, putting all those numbers in, adding them together and divided by 13. The, the other way was again with your calculator, you could have put all these numbers in into the stats section of your calculator and ask your calculator just to give you the mean as an answer. Very similar and will take you about the same amount of time, sorry this is C part 1, would take you about the same amount of time but the advantage here is part 2 you have to do that. Part two, well, no, actually that's not true. You don't have to do it. Part two asks you to find the standard deviation. Now you can find the standard deviation without a calculator, but it's a lot longer, it's a lot more awkward. And in fact, the question asks you specifically to use the calculator. It is an important um, ability to be able to use your calculator correctly, especially in stats questions. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you too much. It won't come up well on the calculator. Um, but what you are able to do is put all those list of numbers all the numbers from the meet section into your calculator and then simply ask your calculator what is the standard deviation. It will give you out the number 50.988 and this will go on for a while. Um, but they ask you to round it off to the nearest number and that's 51. Um, how to use your calculator? I would advise you to ask your teacher if, you, if that's not possible, if you're self-learning. Um, I advise you whatever calculator you have if there's instructions with it, that should be able to tell you. Often on the back of a calculator, um, there'll often be a piece of paper in the back here. That will give you lots of information. Unfortunately, mine doesn't have it. Um, it does have some information, but it's in Chinese, unfortunately. I bought this calculator when I was in China. Um, so the other bit of advice is get the name of your calculator, put it into the internet, and it will have a manual for you there. You do need to learn how to use um, these. For example, how to do this, my calculator, I would have to go to a mode into, into stats and then pick one variable. I will get a table um, that will look something like this, X, and all this is empty. And I then just fill in the numbers into this table. Um, let me see what the numbers for meat are. Something like this, 132, I would then fill, and then I press equals, I put in the next number and this would continue on until I had all 13 numbers. At which point I can just press the AC button. It will all disappear, but your, your calculator will remember it. Now in mine, I go to a section that is called stats and it, asks, it gives me lots of options. And those options allow me to get information about this. Uh, one of them would be N. If I put that in, it would tell me N equals 13. That's how many numbers I put in. Another would be something that probably looks like this. That would be the mean. Um, and in this case, I think that I skipped the mean. Um, in this, Oh no, we, we found the mean before. In this case, the mean would equal 112. And another section would probably look like this, the standard deviation. That's what mine looks like anyway. And that will give out this number here, um, 50.988. And this will continue on to more decimal places. Okay, you need to know how to use your calculator. It will save you time, in fact. Um, the calculator will also, I believe, tell you the median. It would have told you the maximum number and the minimum number as well. Although it was probably, for this sort of question, it would have been faster to do without the calculator. But your calculator can do a lot in this question, and in fact, you need it for a lot of it. So please, learn your calculator. I'm not gonna be able to teach you your calculator unless I know what it is. Okay, there's one last question in part C. Uh, number three asks us to state all the countries that are not within one standard deviation in the meat category. This is we're only dealing with the meat category. So, so here we have um, the mean 
is 112 and the standard deviation is, sorry, we'll use these numbers, 112 and 51. That means to be within one standard deviation means from the mean. So that means anybody who is below uh, 112 minus 51, which, uh, what's this equal to? That's uh, 61, I believe. Yes, uh, that's equal to 61. Anybody below this number would be more than one standard deviation away. And the other case would be 112 plus 51, and that would be equal to 163. Anybody above this, again, would be more than one standard deviation away. That's significant in maths. We talk about things in standard deviations. One standard deviation, two standard deviations. Two standard deviations is a long way away. But one standard deviation is significant enough. So from the list of uh, meat, again, I'll put it up on the screen again. Of the, of the countries, um, of the prices in meat, which countries are below 61 and which are above 163? And from what I can see, we have Macedonia, we have Poland, and we have Switzerland. So we just write those numbers down. Okay, so that's uh, part C. Let, let me rub this out and we'll do part D. So here we have the table they gave us for part D. And what this is, what they tell us it is, is a person in Ireland bought a, a bu bought food for the week, let's say, and a person in Poland bought the exact same food. And it's the price they paid for it. So they give us uh, information about the top line is Ireland. Let me put in that, uh, Ireland and Poland. The top line is Ireland. Somebody paid €36.04 for meat, €31.32 for fish, and so on down. And this is their total bill for all of that produce they bought. What's missing is the Poland number. But they give us one. They, they didn't actually have to give us this, but it's a good way to test how to do this answer. Now, remember, it's important that, we, it's important that um, they bought the same amount. So really, what I need to know is, how much did the Irish person buy? We know how much they spent. So we know meat costs 106 in Ireland. And we know this per person spent 36 and uh, 4 cent. So if meat costs 106, they must have bought less than one meat. They don't tell give us a unit. Maybe it's kilograms, maybe it's 10 kilograms. We're not sure. This is a uh, pretty expensive meat, so it must be more than one kilogram. But um we know one unit costs 106 and they bought 36. So they must have got less than half, about a third. So how do we find that out? We simply divide these uh, numbers together. And lots of students might do it the wrong way around. That's fine because uh, once you see your answer is wrong when you're finished, uh, for example, if you divided 106 on top and 36 on the bottom, you'd get an answer about three, meaning they got three of these. So they didn't buy three of them. That would cost 318 euro. So in this case, you should be able to check your answer with common sense is what I mean. Okay, so how much did uh, this meat actually cost? It co or how much of it did they buy? They bought 0 0.34. So 0 0.34 units of meat. Let me put that in here actually. Yeah, that'll be a good place to put it for all of these. Um, so they bought 0 0.4 units of meat. Now, what about the Polish person? They also bought 0 0.34 units of meat, but their meat actually cost 54 euros. So how much did they spend? If I put this together, if I check this in a calculator, I will in fact get 18.36. Now you didn't have to do any of this, but it's a good way to test how to do the question because they gave you one already done. But if we do the same thing with fish, we will find out how much the Polish person spent. Now it was a bit messy there, so let me rub out uh, this here. So an Irish person, uh, fish costs 108, oh, uh, wrong way around, uh, 108, and we know they spent um, 31, uh, 32. So we find out how much they did, how much they bought. They must have bought 108 divided by 31.32 is equal to 0 0.29, I hope that's correct a bit. So, and my writing's a bit off, but uh, divide that in, hopefully we get this number. That's how much they must have bought. Now a Polish person, their fish costs 64. So 
if we multiply that by the units, how much was bought, how the weight of it maybe, the the number of actual fish or the number of actual animals. Mm, let's go with weight probably, something like a hundred kilograms water or so. Um, if we multiply this together, we will get the answer 18.56. That's how much, how much the Polish person must have spent on fish. Again, we just do the same thing for each of these sections. I'll just give you the answer. It's identically done to each of these. Um, the next section, the answer would come out as 12.35. The next one, would, the for fruit, would come out as 14.26. Check your answer each time. Um, check your answer with common sense. The meat in Ireland is more expensive, so they spent more. The fish in Ireland is more expensive, it costs more. The milk in Ireland is more expensive, it costs more. The fruit in Ireland is more expensive, it costs more. Check your answer. If one of these numbers becomes bigger than this one, Something must be wrong. You must have uh, made a mistake somewhere. The final one is just the total. It's just these four numbers added up, got this. They already gave it to you. They didn't have to give you this. Um, do the same thing here and we should get 63.53. So it's a lot cheaper to buy food in Poland. But correspondingly, the wages would be a lot cheaper as well. So it, it probably balances out. Okay, that does us for question seven. If you have any questions about this, if there's um, this last bit, I'm, I'm a bit unsure I explained that uh, well enough. Uh, put in the comments below. Let me know if you need any um, help on any of these sections. Uh, if you have problems with your calculator, I, I don't know what I can do for you, but feel free to ask the questions. I will tell me to make your calculator. I'll do my best to find out information for you. But until next time, have a good day.